I decided that I'm going to start vermicomposting, which is composting with worms. So I'm gonna do a worm bin in my house. Okay, so I'm starting off with a little 10 gallon bin. Cut some holes in the sides, both sides. I don't have a drill, so I used a knife. And then I lined it with fiberglass screen so that the worms can't get out. And then I taped the whole thing with duct tape. And I got the worms from Petco. Red Wigglers, which is the same compost worms you can find online. I paid uh, $3.49 each, I got two. They're actually $12.49, but the website said $3.49, so I got them at a discount. Ah, ha, ha. So I got 45 in each container, so I got 90, 90 to 100 worms for seven bucks. You're jealous. This bin, same thing. The code didn't work on the sticker, so they gave it to me for $5.99. So I paid $5.99 for that, and I paid seven dollars for the two of those and inside of each container is 45 to 100 red wigglers e, look at them they're all creepy so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to dump them in my mixture i have uh i have some sand some play sand some native soil, I have some potting mix, and some peat moss in here. And this looks like a cocoa coir. So we're just gonna dump everybody in and let them get acclimated. Ooh, look, it's a big chunk of them. them. I'm not gonna spread them out, I'll let them do that themselves. There they are. I'm going to get my little spritzy gun. A little spray here. To get them started. There we go. I said this is a 10 gallon and a hundred worms. So I just wanted to do something small because y'all know I don't have a lot of space. So all right, and then the little top would go on. And that'll give them time to spread around and get acclimated and yeah there's my little worm bin okay so it's been two days i gave them some time to just get themselves situated and then i added um a couple of things to the bin so i have it covered with a damp brown paper bag to keep the moisture in and to uh, keep any gnats or fruit flies out. So we have that. And inside here, I've added shredded cardboard and some leaves that had fallen off of my lemon tree. And I added a little bit of uh, beet greens in here to get them started on, um, on eating. So far, maybe like one or two of them seem to be enjoying it but I just put these beet greens in yesterday so we're just gonna cover that they've taken themselves out of the clumps that they were in in the cocoa coir so that's good that means they're comfortable they're all traveling around they're evenly dispersed so that's a good thing you don't find like huge clumps of worms so that kind of means they're happy they're going on about their day they're doing what they need to do there was one yeah they're just in here chilling i'll come back in a week or so see how they did on those beet greens and see if there's any changes so this is just another of the 8,000 things that I have going on in this little teeny tiny apartment. So I'm just here to prove to you that you can do it. So just start where you are and don't stress.